Welcome back friends to a beautiful cool morning here on the farm. Nice breeze blowing. It's perfect weather for doing some fence work. Today we're actually working on expanding the chicken pen. We uh, we have a pretty good sized pen here for them. About 45 by 45 if I remember right. So plenty of room for, for 25 chickens. Um, but we just added 10 more chickens to our to our flocks. So uh, we like to expand this out and make it a little bigger for them. That way they've got plenty of room to roam around and, and play and have fun so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to take down uh, some of the existing pen and add on to it basically almost double the size of our pen here so let's uh let's get going what do you think ladies how would you like to come out in the yard for a little bit come on come on <laughs> Here they come. Chickens always love roaming around the yard. I actually, I enjoy having them out in the yard as well. It just cuts down on their egg production for us because uh, they're out foraging around and they're not in there laying eggs. So uh, the other thing is predators. So chicken hawks uh, are a big problem around our area here. And we've already had them get one even in the pen. So we prefer to have them in where it's protected. We actually added a bunch of hay string so I had a bunch of bale and twine and we added it in a grid pattern on the top of the pen here and that has done really well we've not lost any chickens since we did that so definitely helps provide um, it looks like a barrier for for hawks and and stuff so they don't come flying down in here so that being said we got to take all this down now in order to make the pen bigger
I think I said this last time, but this pin's definitely not going to win any beauty contest. It is, uh, it's not, no, it's, this is not a professional build. This is a cheap build. So we didn't brace any of the corners. Um, it's not really necessary. We just mainly need a barrier to keep them in. Um, a lot of people will use electric netting and, and keep their chickens in that way. This is just easier for us because I don't want to invest in another hot box. So we just do chicken wire and drive-in post and it works fine. It works great for us. So chickens are loving it already. You can see they're already in the new grass. This is uh, close to 4,000 square feet now, I believe, from what we just added on. So they've got plenty of room to, to roam around in here. You can see a little better from this angle here where we added another 11 or 12 feet this way and then probably about 30 feet back this direction, roughly. So it's uh it's almost doubled in length and we added width as well so definitely definitely like how much room they have now this was our old compost pile they're loving that too next thing we're going to do is add the uh the hay string so this is a, a very small hay string it was what i originally bought for our baler before i realized what size we needed and it's just been sitting in the barn so we're going to use this and run a grid over the top like we had before that should do it it just gives the illusion that there's a, a top on here and so far the last four or five months however long we've had this six months we haven't had any issues with uh, hawks well I think the rest of the day we're gonna do uh, some inside work some tractor work we had a big water oak fall last this past week and uh, it was along the tree line along the fence and it actually come all the way it was about 70 70 or 80 feet tall it fell across our driveway so i spent a couple evenings cutting that up and got most of it cleaned up i've just got a few more logs to clean up we've our family has been sick for the last two weeks man it has been crazy we had um rsv and pretty much all the kids got it except for one our oldest and uh I got it. Man, that stuff, I still, I mean, it, after almost two weeks, I've only gotten a little bit better. It's it's terrible. It's uh, just wipes the energy right out of you, man. So, we had not been doing a whole lot the last couple of weeks here on the farm. Just kind of laying low and trying to get better, but ultimately, you got to keep moving. So, we've been just piddling, doing a little bit at a time on everything we do, so. We're going to see if we can get the rest of this tree cleaned up today, and then we're going to call it a day. And there, there's a fox squirrel. We don't see those guys very much anymore. It's a fox squirrel. <laughs> we don't see too many of them anymore. They were uh, there, at least there for a while. They may still be. They were on the endangered species list, so they were protected. But they're uh, they're a lot bigger than a normal gray squirrel like you see here in North Florida. Um, but they're pretty cool. The kids call them monkey squirrels. This is all that's left. Big trunk and a few more pieces. We're going to take this and cut it up for firewood. But it fell. You can see where all the leaves and debris are. All the way out across and was touching our hot fence where our cows are at. So <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a close one.
might be a little bit much for my tractor. Yeah, we're not going to budge that. I'm going to have to cut it in half. To put it in full wheel drive here. pretty good size log. It's probably about 20 inches in diameter down there at the base. And that's about 12 feet long. We'll load these guys up real quick. Don't hurt your back. Careful. Hey, change ends with him, Christian. Careful. Good job. Thankfully, these guys are feeling better. Hey, let me pull closer, okay? are a huge blessing I tell you what they're uh, very strong very hard-working young men comes in handy times like this tell you what the firewood is piling up really need to get out here and start getting this cut and split some of it's been seasoning for a year and is ready to be split and used this year but the other stuff I need to get split and drying for next year well I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video thank y'all so much for watching we'll see you on the next one